How much does intelligence influence who you love? Today on Raza's office, I am putting that to the test. The rules are simple. Five girls are hidden behind a curtain, and round by round, we'll slowly raise the curtain to reveal the girls that may take Eli's heart. The twist is, they have secretly taken an IQ test, and Eli will have to decide who he thinks has the brains and beauty by asking them a series of questions. And one of these girls is a certified genius. Let's see if I can help Eli find his perfect match. I don't think I'm that smart, but everyone else is really stupid. So in comparison, I'm a genius. Now, uh, let's bring out those girls. <laughs> What's up, baby? Hey. First of all, that jacket. Yeah, I got told it looks like the Roku loading screen. It looks like Miami and GTA, dude. <laughs> Contestant number one, tell me your name, what you do for a living, and if you think you're smarter than the average person. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Sam. I'm a dietitian. I help people heal their body image. And I think, you know, the average person is about five foot five. And I, uh, I remember in physics class, if you're shorter, you have a smaller brain. So so, no. <laughs> Honestly, you sounded pretty smart until the last part. Contestant number two, tell me your name, what you do for a living, and if you think you're smarter than the average person. Hi, I'm Lisa. Uh, I work at IT, and I'm a DoorDasher, but I didn't create DoorDash. And <laughs> if we're talking about America, the average reading level is like the seventh grade, so I think I got that. I I'm smarter than so the average person. So you're at a seventh grade level? Uh, well, I'm above that. Okay. So eighth grade. She's pretty smart, dude. She almost made DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> I think financial literacy is a good mark of intelligence, and I don't think DoorDash pays that well. You're trying to, you're trying to like find the perfect person here. I mean, this is how you flirt. I'm used to being in a white room with like padded walls. Oh, like the mental <laughs> asylum. My dad sent me there a while back, <laughs> and then he ran away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it turned out well, because you're doing great. I can't wait to abandon my family, because I know that they'll grow up stronger. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? That's why I want to find a strong, independent woman, so she can raise our family on her own. Well, I'm so glad I'm an inspiration for you in the worst way possible. Contestant number three, tell me your name, what you do for a living, and if you think you're smarter than the average person. Hi, my name is Janine. I do business development for a real estate law firm. And considering the people that chase me and who I surround myself with, I'd say it's rubbed off a little, so yeah. I am smarter than the average person. Business development, huh? What kind of businesses do you develop? Real estate law firm. 95% of, yeah, dude, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> did I leave you speechless and you haven't even seen me yet? Yeah, did she make you speechless? I think, yeah, you have a cute voice. Aw, thanks. Really, you're into that like whole sorority girl voice? Like, is that what's going on? <laughs> Rosa, are you not? Yeah, I've, I mean, I don't That's know, crazy. dude. Rosa's into my voice. When, if we're talking decibels, like I feel like the sorority girl voice is at like 40. You know what I mean? Okay, rude. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a fact, dude. Like sometimes I wear my glasses to a sorority house and then just shatters as soon as I enter. She sounds like she adds extra syllables onto words. Like, stop, uh. <laughs> Wait, can you say stop for us? You sound like a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, I went to a therapist and I told them I was a narcissist. And the therapist said, you're not a narcissist because they would never admit that, which means I'm actually just better than everyone. Dude, Dude, I, I, she said the same thing to me. I think they just say that to keep us like coming back, you know what I mean? Dude, they don't even understand what it means. I, <laughs> Contestant number four, tell me your name, what you do for a living, and if you think you're smarter than the average person. Um, my name's Hope. I'm a model, but they don't really get paid ever, so I have a cocktail serve on the side. And I would say I'm above the average person because I can say the last part of my sentence before the front of it, and I don't even know what I'm saying. Hmm. I didn't, I didn't hear that last part, to be honest with you. I hear schizophrenia. Contestant number five, tell me your name, what you do for a living, and if you think you're smarter than the average person. Hey, my name's Joy. I'm a musician and I work in event production. And I'm gonna tell you honestly right now, I think I'm pretty smarter than the average person with all the mushrooms I take. I've got, <laughs> I've got the secrets. I got all the secrets of the world, so yeah. Yo, same. I used to take so many mushrooms every day. Like, I didn't microdose like a pussy. I was shoveling handfuls down. Let's go, baby. This is a match made in heaven, huh? Just off those answers, who are you putting at the smartest and who are you putting at the dumbest? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to go with the uh, the door dasher being the dumbest. I believe that was contestant number two. Contestant number two, okay. And who's the smartest in your opinion? It's a tie between the rest of them. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh. He said all of them are smart I except her. <laughs> I, I knew this question would make some of them feel bad, but you just made her feel like shit. Yeah. The 
mushroom girl beat me. Let's go, baby. <laughs> the last like four da DoorDash orders, they brought like half my stuff and charged me like 50 bucks. I have a personal beef with DoorDash. And sometimes they get hungry on the way and then they just eat your shit, dude. Okay, so who's genuinely the smartest? I'm gonna say between contestant number one and contestant number four. The model sounds like she could be one of those chicks that's like smart, but it's overlooked because she's hot. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Contestant number one, if we were in a zombie apocalypse, what would be your survival strategy? Aw, I love alpacas. I do so much, they're so cute. Zombies are scary. But if I was stuck in their lips, like a zombie apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would, that was a stretch. I would make <laughs> sure. I would make sure that oh, they're man. sleeping. I'd make sure they're sleeping and then I'd climb out, give a little hug, a little kiss, and then I'd leave. Would you cheat on me with a zombie? Depends on his dick size. <laughs> well, uh, zombies want to eat brains, so I think they'd be walking right past you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel insulted. No, but I like the alpaca stuff. Let's focus on that, baby. Contestant number two, what would be your survival strategy in a zombie apocalypse? Okay, so I would go flamethrower <laughs> to get out the city to try to befriend some rednecks for supplies. That's, that's <laughs> smart. I misread Because they know how to hunt and fish so they, they and they have guns where do i fit into that equation you can't just ride up to a bunch of rednecks house and be like hey, where are you couple fellas doing around these parts <laughs> contestant number three what would be your survival tactic in a zombie apocalypse so in a zombie apocalypse i think my survival tactic would be to seduce a zombie and get him to protect me from everyone else seduce <laughs> the zombies and make them fall in love that sounds like a rom-com dude have you seen me Raza? no i have not i have not dude you're behind a curtain okay well just you wait you'll understand Stand. Contestant number four, what would be your survival tactic in a zombie apocalypse? Um, I'd probably just go full blown walking dead on their asses and be Negan with a bat and barbed wire and literally go ham because obviously you're not going to do that job because you're going to be eaten already because you just don't know how to use a gun. Why do you think I don't know how to use a gun? Because you just seem like the person that would shoot a tree instead of a moose. Contestant number five, what is your tactic to survive in a zombie apocalypse? First thing you got to do, you got to get away from civilization. So you got to go up to the mountains because the less people there are, the less zombies there can be. Then you start yourself a little homestead, build yourself a fence, nobody can get in, you got your own food, and then weapon of choice is a a samurai sword, baby. Because long distance, short distance weapon, all at the same time, never run out of ammo. There we go, let's go, we're gonna live forever. Yeah, that was perfect. That was, that was the best answer I've ever heard. Literally the greatest answer. All right, so now it's time for elimination. So who do you think is the smartest and who do you think is the dumbest right now? And who are you gonna eliminate? I think the smartest is contestant number five. And contestant number four has a incorrect assumption of my abilities. So she is clearly the dumbest. Keep in mind, Eli has no idea that by the end of this video, every girl's IQ score is going to be revealed. And that's when his real personality will be put to the test. All right, so based on your answer, we're eliminating contestant number four. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, contestant number four, come out from behind the curtain, please. Dude, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. He, he was insulted by uh, some of what you said about the guns thing. Do you feel like now that you see him, like you feel like he got a bunch of guns in his car? I mean, I just don't think you take sarcasm pretty well, obviously. <laughs> I don't think you deliver it very well. Yeah, neither did I. It's pretty shitty, honestly. But I think you're, you strike me as like a pineapple. Maybe a, a bit of a rough exterior, but past that, it's just sweet fruit. Yeah, you could be right. But you'll never know because you just eliminated me. I'm more like an onion. The more layers you peel back, the more you cry. Dude, I'm like... I'm literally watching this and I'm like, dude, you guys should go on an actual date. But unfortunately, you eliminated her. So thank you so much, contestant number four. Dude, you totally fucked up. Yeah, well, you know. No, there's nothing. There's nothing, dude. Round <laughs> right. number two, how do you feel? Um, you know, I feel like I need to readjust my strategy. <laughs> you're really you're really hurting from round one, huh? I wouldn't say hurting. Raza, yeah, okay? I'm just, you know, I'm just examining the data, uh -huh. doing strategic analysis, you know, market cap, liquidity. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number one, teach me something in 60 seconds that would impress me. I'm gonna teach you the value of doing homework from a fourth grade poem I wrote. Are you ready? Yeah. If there was no homework, the world would be blank. The oceans would be gray and the sun would be up all day. The grass would be orange, the trees would be blue. Every day would be a holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, and Halloween too. The days would last forever, never ending hours. The color of my brand new pen would turn from pink to red. The color of flowers, people would last forever. The ghost would be out. You wouldn't want that to happen. So do your homework and don't pout. God damn, dude. <laughs>
Wait, but I didn't learn anything from that. I said, teach me something and impress me. I, okay, 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 okay. I can also teach you how to be mindful while eating. Right now in 60 seconds? Right now in 60 seconds. Okay. Pretend you have a meal in front of you. And before you start your first bite, we're gonna practice something called three, two, one. So the first thing you're gonna do is look down at your plate and identify three things you can see. Steak, mashed potatoes, a smaller steak. Beautiful, what are two things? <laughs> What are two things you can hear in your space, in your surroundings right now? I hear forks and glasses clinking. Gorgeous. I want you to lift up that plate, bring it right up to your nose, take one deep inhale, and what's one thing you smell? Garlic. Now as you set that plate down, audibly say out loud, thank you. Thank you. As you're expressing gratitude for the chef, the farmer, and also yourself for creating a moment of pause. And can't forget a uh, big old God upstairs, huh? There we go. Thanks, God. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so practice that next time you're eating a meal. But if you guys were dating, right, and you came home and you were super hungry, imagine she's, she stops you real quick and she's like, you gotta be mindful before eating. <laughs> How would you feel about that? Like, let's think I'd about flip it. out. I'd fucking lose it. Fucking hit I you. would just clench my fist and I'd be like, that's fine, honey. <laughs> Dude, I think she's the mature one you need, but maybe maybe we need to work on your maturity right now. Mm. Like, she's making you mindful, all that good stuff. I mean, keep in mind, I'd probably never go for that, but you know. <laughs> Contestant number two, teach me something in 60 seconds that will impress me. Look, I'm gonna be honest, you, you sound white, so I would teach you about a lot about rap music and more specifically, Kanye West and how you... <laughs> <laughs> and how you can kind of tell his downfall from like his first album. Like you can kind of tell it was gonna be this way. Oh, you, you misjudged. I'm actually black from the credit score up. Uh, <laughs> and I love Kanye West. He also forgot to mention he has three black friends. So like he really gets the culture, he gets the culture. That is not true. Contestant number three, can you teach me something in 60 seconds that will impress me? Sure, repeat after me. Me gusta mucho. Me gusta mucho. El. El. Concursante. Concursante. Numero tres. Numero tres. You just said I really like contestant number three in Spanish. Oh, that was smart. Thanks. I don't know about impressive or if I learned anything. <laughs> Roz is not a fan. Contestant number five. Can you teach me something in 60 seconds that would impress me? So you know, worms, there's no girls. They're both boys. So they can either have babies on their own or they can slide by each other and exchange sperm and then they can both have each other's kid. Isn't that beautiful? That's Isn't pretty that, cool. Don't you wanna tell everybody how worms have sex? So worms are just like naturally gay. Worms are gay as I mean, they're little dicks, literally. Oh, yeah. but, but, I mean, talk about yourself, dude. Contestant number one, how and why did your last relationship end? He was cheating on me, so. <laughs> <laughs> how did you catch him cheating on you? I found videos on his computer under a file labeled sus. <laughs> And um, he was being a worm with other worms. Oh, gay. he was being gay? Mm -hmm. Gay? Wait, wait, he was getting railed on camera and you and you watched that? Uh, well, first I thought it was hot and then I'm like, wait, this is my boyfriend. <laughs> wearing my clothes. Wait, wait, he's wearing your clothes? It's funny, I'm dressed like a man, but he was wearing my, my girly stuff, you know? <laughs> Wait, contestant number one, are you ready to go back to dating after that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a year, you know? Man, well, it, compared to that guy, I'm f perfect. You, yeah. I would literally never do that to you. I hope not. Contestant number two, how and why did your last relationship end? Um, it ended because he had like a rotation, like he had a baby mama and he had a girlfriend and then he had me. Uh, and one of the girls sent me my address. So I was like, I think I'm good on this. <laughs> So it sounds like the relationship never really started. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can say, I didn't know that, but yeah. <laughs> she really said, I'm gonna pull up. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Wait, so this wasn't a relationship, this was a situationship, yeah? Well, I thought it, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding this out now. Contestant number three, how and why did your last relationship end? So me and Brad broke up because he came to my parents' house, got so drunk, broke my toilet, and then flooded my house, and then told my parents he got roofied. <laughs> And pretty much my dad was like, if anyone's gonna get roofied, it's my daughter, not you. Oh. <laughs> like, grow up. <laughs> he was like 27, like 6'4", no shot, he's getting roofied. Dude, I guess guys guys really can't catch a break, dude. You get roofied and fucking drugged and it's your fault. Yeah, it sounds like you're victim blaming. Contestant number five, how and why did your last relationship end? Okay, you know when two people with mental illness get together that haven't figured out that they have it yet? Oh yeah. Yeah, so that happened and then they just moved to New York. Wait, you were in like a thruple? No, I was in a, I mean there's four of us, but like two people and like 
four personalities. Oh. Oh, so you're referring to one person as multiple people. Absolutely. Interesting, so confusing, like, but I get it. That's what's great about like being alone though, because no one's more entertaining than the voices in my head. Before we start the elimination process, who do you think is the smartest and who do you think is the dumbest right now? <sighs> so we got gay ex-boyfriend, rotation, mm -hmm. and oh yeah, okay. Contestant number two, I'm gonna have to eliminate you because <laughs> that is not very smart not realizing that you're with a guy with a rotation. What do you think she could have done? Open your eyes, <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> She didn't, she didn't know her boyfriend was gay. So there's that, uh, there's that. Also, IQ tests are racist. <laughs> You're literally looking at patterns between black and white squares. That yeah. is racist. Ra think about it. All right, you know thank you so say? much. Right, Contestant number two. Wait, wait. <laughs> All right, dude, this is round number three. What do you think of the contestant so far? Um, contestant number two, boobs. That's cool. I think that's contestant number three, but I get that you're distracted right now. That's all good, dude. Contestant number one, if we met at a party, what would your pickup line be? Hey, what made you smile today? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? Autism's cute. <laughs> what do you genuinely think about that? Would you, would you like give her your number if she said that to you? I mean, I can't see the face yet. So that's really the deciding factor. Contestant number three, if we met at a party, what would your pickup line be? Do you believe in love at first sight or do I need to walk by again? <laughs> Unoriginal, but the effort's okay. there. That, that question is unoriginal. Is she is she getting the number? I see the boobs. No, 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 we're talking full on hijab, dude. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. By the way, I, I should mention this. If you want to be my girl, you have to wear a hijab. We're... What's a hijab? You get one at a Turban Outfitters. <laughs> Contestant number five, if we met at a party, what would your pickup line be? Uh, you want some tequila? That's the... <laughs> I don't drink. I haven't touched a drink or drugs in 10 months. Contestant number one, if our love story was a theme song, what song would it be? Uh, the SpongeBob theme song. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm ready. <laughs> Contestant number three, if our love story was a song, what song would it be? The Lights one by Kanye West. Flashing lights. Mm, that's Ooh, good. that's a good one. Yeah. I have memories with that song. With your ex? No, no. Okay, good. With my 14-year-old best friend, we used to get really high and just stare at the iTunes visualizer. That's the best song ever. Is your best friend 14 now? <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number five, if our love story was a song, what song would it be? Uh, One Love by Bob Marley. Well, I actually have an answer for this. Okay. And it's uh, Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Oh, I love oh. that song. Baby! I can pay you to a kiss from a rose. <laughs> oh, damn, <laughs> she harmonized with you. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I actually listened to it on the way here. Are you being serious? Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, dude, it's time for elimination. The last person before you get to see the final two contestants. Who are you picking? This is a tough one. Okay, you know, contestant number five, you're really awesome, but I think one love's a little obvious. I'm gonna have to eliminate you. All right, that's fine. You're glowing. You're like an angel. Ah, uh, yeah, and you eliminated me. <laughs> you eliminated me. <laughs> How do you feel about being eliminated after being like having so much chemistry with them? I'm seeing uh, first round, second round, answered all the questions, and now you're worried about a song? Dude, I thought you thought about brains over me, beauty. What's going exactly, on? Exactly. No, I I know what happened in this round. <laughs> Are y'all talking about me? No. <laughs> We're, no one's talking about you. Talk Are you talking else. about me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, you got SpongeBob and titties, so I'm gonna head out of here. <laughs> Are you ready for this final round? Oh, I'm ready. Brains or boobs, an age-old debate. Contestant number three, contestant number one, can you guys reveal yourselves? All right. All right, we got Professor. We got... <laughs> Blonde bombshell. Blonde bombshell. What are you thinking? <laughs> I did not expect contestant number one to be so gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do you guys want to tell them your names one more time? I'm Sam. I'm Janine. I'm Eli. Nice to meet you guys. Nice so meet nice you. to meet you. All right, what do you guys think of him? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a stripper? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just ask her that. I mean, we're all thinking it, but you can't <laughs> ask her that. Final question, dude. Final round. Do you think you are smarter than the other contestant? Well, uh, if my brains are in my boobies, uh, then no. So you think I'm dumb just because I have big boobs? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, true? I think you're stupid because you're short. 
<laughs> well, I think you're dumb for spending eleven thousand dollars on your titties. My daddy did. I don't have a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the real winner here? Ray uh, boob job, hot, taller than you. Yeah, um, I am titless and dadless. So. <laughs> Contestant number one, what do you do in your free time? I like to hang out with my dog, and I cuddle with him. We watch SpongeBob together, I eat, and um, play Tetris, a lot of Tetris. Contestant number three, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like to journal, I like to go out with my friends, I like to go try new spots to eat, and I like to work out. My no daddy friend. issues? No, he loves me, I love him. And you have daddy issues. Mm -hmm. This is very surprising. Mm -hmm. All right, dude, we're at the end of the road. Who are you ultimately picking? You know, I've thought about this a lot, you guys both have a lot of good qualities. But I gotta say, contestant number three, it is not you. It's contestant number one. Contestant oh! number one! Yeah! Oh, Let's hi. go. Hey! Oh. You smell nice. Thanks. All right, well, I have one last surprise for you. So do you believe in second chances? Yeah. Until now, Eli has picked Sammy, but will learning every girl's IQ change his mind? Each contestant revealed their IQ, and as we got closer to the finalist scores, I had to make sure Eli was ready. Are you okay with dating a girl that's smarter than you? I don't think that's possible. <laughs> you don't think that's possible? <laughs> what you don't know is that Eli actually took an IQ test along with all the contestants. So right now, we're about to see his IQ score. Oh. 130, <laughs> dude. <laughs> And the thing is, this is like a legit score. This guy's a genius. This yeah. is the girl that you wanted to go home with. You have a 130 IQ score. Sammy, go ahead and reveal your IQ score. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even high functioning Down syndrome. That's just Down syndrome. <laughs> and now the girl that you eliminated, Janine at the end, and you picked Sammy. Why did you eliminate Janine? I mean, she's gorgeous and has huge boobs. And I mean, you can't have it all. All right, Janine, show him if he's wrong. Holy 134 shit. IQ, wow. is that real? Yes, it's so, real. I got my degree from UT Economics and Finance. See, that's the voice of not that number. <laughs> <laughs> you said my voice was cute. Yeah, smart so. isn't always cute. All right, Eli, you get one more chance. You can either stick to Sammy with an 89 IQ score or you can pick another contestant that you eliminated. What are you gonna do? I mean, honestly, like she looks and sounds like a dumb bitch. No offense, like you're gorgeous, <laughs> but like, I wouldn't expect you to have boobs and brains, but like the best of both worlds. I think I, mean, I think the voice really like throws it all off, right? Mm -hmm. That could also be a good manipulation tactic. We could make up a good team. She could go work the men. She knows watches. She could be like, that guy's got a forty thousand dollar watch. Let's go scam him. I mean, Let's go, baby, and then we get tickets to Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah come to mommy. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs>